Boys, welcome. I'm going to be doing a series of self-defense videos. Episode one is all about self-defense for a novice. I'm going to show you some basic self-defenses using simple but effective karate techniques which anyone can do. With self-defense, we always want to aim for the weak spots, such as the eyes, nose, throat, or groinal area. The techniques I'm about to show you allow you to neutralize the aggressor temporarily so you can get away from the situation and get yourself to safety. It's ideal for a novice with no martial arts experience or someone who may have minimal strength. Even the most basic techniques can be effective in self-defense. To use these techniques, you don't have to be an expert, but what I do recommend is you watch this video several times and keep practicing the techniques. Grab a friend, partner to practice without making any contact or you can practice in the air. Remember, reacting fast is key. Okay, so the first few defenses are against an aggressor attacking you from the front. Oh yeah! Okay, good. So what we're doing here, we're using the nukate. It's a finger strike to the eyes. So with nukate, nihon nukate, you can do your fingers so you have a gap between the fingers here, or you can do two and two, whichever's more comfortable. Both will work nicely. So how we want to start, we want to make sure we turn side on. Okay, so the idea of turning side on, there's less surface area for someone to attack. Okay, less target area. So as we turn side on, we're going to strike out, straight into the eyes, with the fingers, and pull back. So from the side angle, so step to the side. As you step to the side, on, hand comes up, straight into the eyes, with the fingers. There, what? So in real time, <laughs> Okay, so with this one, again the aggressor is coming in from the front, so I'm going to step to the side. Okay, I'm going to use a technique called Ayubi Ken. Okay, so thumb knuckle strike. So how we do this? You want to squeeze your fist tight like a normal fist, then your thumb sits on top. Okay, and you push down hard. So the idea, the thumb knuckle is going to be striking into the throat. Okay, so as you step to the side, drive that fist forward, thumb strikes into the throat, and then back out. Okay, so it's a good thing to do when you're in position, as they're coming in, get your fist ready. Okay, so your hands in position, thumb on top, squeeze it tight, and then you can step, there, good. And then from a side angle, so you step out, strike straight in with the thumb, into the throat. Okay. So this next one. So we're gonna someone attacking again from the front. So we're gonna use our King Gary groin kick or golden kick. Okay, so how we do the King Gary? So you bring the knee up, flick out, pull in it down. And we're doing a strike with the top of the foot in Japanese Hasuku into the groinal area. Again, it's all about the speed of the kick. So from here, we'll just break it down slowly. So we're gonna step side on again. Again, less surface area for them to attack. As you step side on, the knee comes up, flick out, and we're aiming straight into the groinal area. So from here, one, two. Yeah, the extra little tip, as you do it, it's good to put your hands up, okay? Because this will distract the opponent, the aggressor, okay? They think your hands are going high, and then you strike down low. Don't want no trouble, straight in. So from here, one, two. Now from the side angle, one, two. Shit. Okay, so this time, the aggressor is attacking from behind. Okay, so I'm gonna show you side on. Okay. So let's break this one down. So we're using two karate techniques. The back fist, back of the knuckles, yurakan. Okay, and then the second one, hammer of the fist, tetsui. Okay, so make sure the fists are nice and tight. So what we do, we step to the side. First one comes yurakan, and we're aiming for the nose. Second one, you come straight down into the groinal area, tetsui, hammer fist. Okay, so I'll show you from the front. So step to the side, strike up high. You reckon, strike down low, tetsui to the groin. From behind, 
from here, step to the side, one, two, okay, full speed. So again, the aggressor is attacking from behind. Okay, so let's break this one down. So what we're using, Kakato kick, it's a heel kick as a stamp. So you're gonna bring the knee up and then you're stamping down. So where we're aiming for, we're aiming into the shin and then down onto the top of the foot, okay? So from here, knee comes up, drive down, back in. Kakata get And then the second technique we're gonna be doing is the elbow. Japanese hijate or MP. So from here, we're driving the elbow back into someone's stomach, okay? So from here, how we do it, you want the arm that's striking, you want that hand fisted, other hand on top. The idea of the hand on top is to give extra power to drive that elbow in so you get more strength in your technique. So there, drive it back, up, drive back. Okay, so from here, one, stamp back, two, drive the elbow from the side. So from here, go, stamp down, reach up, drive elbow back. From here, knee up, stamp down as hard as you can, drive the elbow back, turn. Go. From here, full speed. Much appreciated if you show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell for future videos, like this video, leave a comment and share this video with your friends and family. Us, thank you for watching, remember to watch this video several times to familiarise yourself with the techniques and practice. Remember, practice makes progress. Keep safe out there. I'll see you at my next video. Hi